going on, gang? Uh, first of all, I really want to apologize. If you see us sweating, we're in Mexico, obviously. So we're outside on the rooftop. So we may be sweating a little bit, so just forgive us. But I have a special guest with me here today, man. This guy, let me just say, ladies, you can look at him and say he's probably the ladies' man, right? I don't like guys, so I'm not going to compliment him too much. What I'm gonna allow him to do first is to tell you a bit about himself and what he does. So, thank you for having me first. Uh, my name is Tony Barbena. I'm from Germany. And uh, yeah, I'm here in beautiful Mexico. And um, yeah, just having a good time working on my business. And uh, yeah, today we want to talk about uh, a little bit dating when you travel. Yeah. So, yeah. Get right into it. Alright, so a lot of gents hit me up and asked me, uh, and a lot of you have been messaging me, how are the Mexican women out here? Now, first of all, I have not really messed with a lot of Mexican women. I'm not saying I don't like them, but I have not came across many, right? Um, we're in Playa del Carmen, and it's a diverse culture, which I like, because now you get to meet women from all over the world, wherever you can think of, you have that here. And one of the main things you may see a lot of guys struggling with is how to approach women, whether it is uh, because we, we don't always just want to, you know, uh, copulate with every single female we have. We may just want to collab with them or something or just build a genuine friendship, though that part is very low. But, you know, a lot of us struggle with that. And Tony here, man, this guy is a professional. He does a lot of several things. One of the main things um, what his business is focusing on now is dating exactly so what I actually want him to help me with right here is to you know help us give some advice to you know gents like myself and you all that probably may be struggling on how to interact with women when you're traveling um, I wouldn't even say inside your own country because I you know my page is more about travel and I want to encourage you all to get out there so Tony what would you tell someone who let's just say who is very uh, shy at first who says uh oh what do you think i should tell that girl i just saw in the gym so like starting you said uh when you're traveling or in general mm -hmm. i can talk like in general because when you travel it's actually the same game mm -hmm. um, so and you just need to know how the attraction works between a man and a man and a female and if you're shy and you're afraid of approaching you have like approaching anxiety there's actually nothing you can do about it, you know, you just need to get some balls, <laughs> if I can say it so. Um, but what I can tell you, to get more confidence, because you need more confidence to approach women. And you only get confidence um, from experience, you know. And if you have experience, good experience, then you feel more competent, and this is also how you get confidence. So, and the, how I always um, teach people when they ask me yeah how can I improve how can I date girls how can I talk to them I always say it always starts with self-improvement you know you gotta start with yourself it's not that you need some corny pickup line something that you watch outside this is like the old approach you know like the old approach that I don't teach it's um, just basic things you know just basic things and start with a self-improvement you know look inside a mirror and ask yourself like would I date myself, you know, if I if I was a girl? And this is what you should do. Like every man should go inside of uh, self improvement, you know, improve your looks. And um, this is the first thing that you can do: improve your looks. And this is how I got better with women. When I improve my looks, I already get signals for them. You know, they look at me, they smile at me, and it makes it more easier. So this is the approach that I uh, teach people um, how to get better with women. Okay. Now, I want to get more on that part with improving your looks because as I've noticed, um, and I haven't been to much countries, but the few countries I've went to, every country, the guys dress way differently. So when you say improving your looks, how would you tell someone to improve their looks as a general? I mean, when, when they travel to another country? Or in a whole, like how would you tell them to, because you said you improve your looks and you started to get more signals for women. Yes, how would you yes. tell a, a guy to improve their looks? Like what you can do, you know, every guy has like special features, you know, like maybe you're tall, maybe you're, I don't know, you have brown skin, curly hair, whatever, you know. And then you need to find guys that look similar to you, like that are from the same race or something. And that they, they look good, you know, just 
look, watch them at Instagram, you know, and many girls like them. So just look at them and maybe you can pick, you know, just get some inspiration. Pick maybe, oh, they got, they got a nice shirt on. Maybe I can buy the shirt too. They got some accessories, you know, some arm chains and bracelets, whatever, you know. Maybe you can implement it too into your style. It doesn't mean that you have to copy everything, right. but just look at the people that are doing well and then just copy them. Okay. Or learn from them, get inspired. This is also what you do at business, you know. Right. You don't focus on some losers, you gotta focus on the people that are already doing well and then you emulate them, you know. You, okay. Yeah. This wow. is uh, what you what you can do. So there are a lot of uh, guys that are obviously out of shape and um, I'm not trying to offend anybody of course, but you know, you have a lot of out of shape guys with money. Obviously these guys may struggle less with getting genuine women because more women come to these guys for money which nothing is wrong um for the ladies that are watching this if you're going to guy after money you know that's that's what you do that's completely up to you this is really more catered to the gents but what would you tell a guy who is obviously overweight may probably take him a year to get in shape how would you tell him to improve himself to get better quality women a guy with money that is out of shape right so when you got money and maybe you're complaining, ah, I only get like bad women that are after my money, then you shouldn't try to attract them with your money, you know? If you're going on a first date, and uh, then you're like blowing hundreds of dollars only on some uh, some shrimps or whatever, you know, some, some nice food, right. of course she thinks maybe, oh, this guy, he's all about, you know, he's doing it with every girl on the same date, you know? She doesn't feel special, and she o only looks you like a bag of money. Mm. So, and if you're like out of shape and you have like a bad game, you're not charismatic, you know, you, she doesn't like the stories you tell, and then she is not attracted to you. She she doesn't feel the attraction like a man. And what you should focus on, like, don't try to attract women with your money. You know, try to, you know, um, be be a nicer person. You know, try right. to. Um, yeah, improve yourself, you know, your character. Maybe you got flaws, you don't even know it. Maybe you're, you have an ugly character and that's why women don't like you. So first, don't try to attract women with your money, you know. You, you can have money, you know, you can go to nice places, you can uh, um, do nice things, but it shouldn't be like the main thing that you use to, to pull her, you know. And if you're out of shape, maybe some girls like guys or they don't mind, um, I think it's not the majority, so uh, yeah, you better should go to the gym, improve yourself, you know, read some books uh, about people, about attraction, how it works, and how the lady gets emotional, attracted to you, and um, yeah, this is what you should focus on, not only the money part. Okay, wow, that's powerful. So, um, I've noticed uh, a lot of people now, um, including myself, I've used this as well, um, Tinder. And uh, there's other dating apps that um, I, uh, I'm not aware of. I'm just hearing about Hinge, uh, Bumble, and some other ones. But how would you tell someone to approach a female on Tinder? Because obviously, most guys just say hello or hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I deleted my apps a couple okay. weeks ago. You know, I'm not into that anymore. Okay. You found a wife? Um, I'm I'm just uh, <laughs> dating one at a time okay. now. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's also hard, you know, because yeah. of business you don't have time. So correct. Yeah, I don't do that. So um, yeah, on Tinder first you gotta get likes in or you gotta get matches, right. and then if if you're talking about someone who doesn't get matches, then it's um, because of your profile. Your profile is not lit. So you have to understand like it's a uh, yeah the demand. It's uh, it's super high for, for women. So like only like maybe the top 5% are getting actually the matches. And those are like maybe the big ballers, you know, with money, like, just like you. you know? <laughs> and so they get, get the, the nice girls and then, yeah, you get the fours and fives, you know? Mm. So you need to optimize your profile because like Tinder is super superficial, you know? Yeah. The girls just swipe, they don't even look at you. They don't even care what's in your bio, what's about. They don't? They, wow. If you're not cute, bro, they don't they don't read. Wow, they don't read. They don't read. I can't say all of the girls, you know, the majority. The majority, because there are different types of girls. Some look for hookups, some look for something may, maybe a little bit more. Right. Some look for relationships when they like you. Right. So you don't know. Some wants just some companion for adventures or whatever. Do you, know? you think?
girls look for sugar daddies on Tinder or do you use something else? Definitely. Yeah. Some, some of them, some. yeah. Okay. Especially some of the nicer girls. Mm -hmm. what, especially uh, um, here, you know. Right. That's what, what I uh, I noticed, you know. Mm. You can already tell, you know, like the right. pictures on a yacht and uh, mm -hmm. they're been everywhere. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, maybe they're successful entrepreneurs. Maybe, they, maybe, uh, they're yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe they're in crypto. Yeah, maybe. Maybe they're in crypto. Did I answer the question? Uh, you were ah, saying about how yeah. to how to uh, how to approach girls mm -hmm. on Tinder? You know? Right. Like, you have to. Uh, it's not like one formula, and I can give it to you because I'm a I'm a different guy maybe than you are. You know, I can say different things. You know, when I approach girls, I just I just go there and say maybe whatever comes to my mind. You know, and other people they want maybe a step by step guide. Right. I cannot give you the step by step guide. For me, how it works. Uh, she already liked me, and uh, we have a match. You know, so, so it already said it, you wouldn't. You, you you would always message the girl first on Tinder, yes. Okay. Yes, on Tinder, yes. Because I can wait there hundred hours. You know, I don't mm -hmm. get anything. I don't get shit. Bro. Okay. She will she will cancel the match after after a while. If I don't, oh, they uh, cancel matches. Yes, yes. yes. Hell, if you okay. don't text them, you know, wow. they will uh, entitle. Yes, they got options more than we do. You know? They got options. So what I I. I Basically, I just say, I always write the same message, you know. Hey, what's hey, what's going on? Okay. Hola, hola, what's going on? Mm. And then I, I put an emoji there, like a, a palm tree or something, you know, just to stick out. For sex there. on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, it's, it's what I'm about. It's a palm tree, you know? Okay. To give some vibes. Vibes, palm, right. You know? And this always works. Then she said, I say like what's going on, it yeah. maybe doesn't sound nice or something, but it's okay. like what's going on, what's going on, it means hello, what's going on, right. and then she tells me what she's doing, what she's up to right now, mm. I don't say hi, how are you, I say what's going on, what are you doing right now, and okay. she said something, and maybe, she, um, and then she has to ask me back, you know, right. if she doesn't ask me back, attraction level is maybe low, or she got some other Someone guy else, that she's right. already talking to, so uh, yeah, it depends, it's also timing, timing, timing right. it's very, very important, though. You know, sometimes you get the perfect timing, you get the perfect girl, right. right time. But the same girl, two weeks later, maybe she's already into a conversation with another guy, and then she's like, mm, she doesn't want to text you back. Right. But initially, she liked you, but mm -hmm. it's timing. So, and also, it's the same for Tinder. It's also timing, and it's not there. Like, what can you take? Some people want some maybe um, some pickup lines. Maybe it, it also works. You know, right. like my friend, he's doing other stuff. You know, he will. Yeah. He has another Tinder game, but if, if you if you are into it, you know, you gain some experience, mm -hmm. and then you got your own game, the text game, however you want to call it. Actually, it's bullshit, but um, yes, and then uh, it works. Maybe you get a, a conversation, and what I do, like really fast, I don't text like blah, 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 since when have you been here, and all those boring questions. Uh, I will leave that to the date, you know, we can talk. I say, you know, I just want to make the maybe five to ten messages, and she sees that I'm like uh, how I am, like I'm a little bit funny, <laughs> you know. I maybe there's some laughing in there, right. and then I I will just go to the point. I say, hey, um, do you want to meet for drinks? Uh, and I even say the, the place, you know. I tell the place. I don't I don't tell you now where, but I, I give you I give her the place. But and then suppose I may want the place too, the Gary yeah. girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, yeah, it's a nice, very nice place. Okay. So. It's uh, yeah, and it's a place I always go for drinks, you know. Okay. I don't go for dinner on the first date because in the past, you know, I, I just wanted to have like some romantic time with a girl. Mm. And if I go to dinner, yeah, um, I had bad experience with that, you know. Going she may to, see to you dinner. as what? She may see you as I don't know something that I won't don't want to be seen as. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, and if, if if she's like smart and if I uh, give her like okay, let's go for drinks, she right. already no like Your intention yeah and if if you're on a date if the energy is good you know and it's like a hundred percent conversion rate so far mm. for this um, funnel you know? <laughs> do you think it's normal or not so often to uh, have sex with a female on a first date from tinder it's normal it's normal it's normal yeah. so you think most females already have this intention in the back of their mind do you, yes. from they li like you they have this intention yes, yes. okay that's but dope. you have to convince them, you know. Right. They are. They are maybe think from from the looks. Right. They say, okay, he's fine. Right. But you can also completely destroy everything if you you can talk yourself out, you know. Mm. You can talk yourself out. Or if you if you are like weird, if you're a weird guy, you know. Right. If like weird, I don't know. You know? You know? 
know, you have to create the atmosphere, you know, she has to be like, feel whatever, safe, and uh, you need to create a nice atmosphere that okay. she feels comfortable in. Mm -hmm. and this atmosphere, and you, have, you also have to be like, what do you say, you know, not too, not too shy, you know? right? You know, be a little bit playful with her, mm -hmm. make some jokes, and don't talk about what are you doing in business. When she asks you, you can talk about it, but right. don't talk about hey, blah blah blah. I've been doing this, that. You know, focus the conversation more about her right. and involve her emotions. You know, ask some stuff. Mm -hmm. This, this is what I like doing. No emotions. You know, I ask her, oh, how did you feel about this? How, how do you feel about that? And I ask different questions. You know? mm -hmm. One question I ask, I also ask that guys, like, how happy do you feel right now in your life from a scale from one to ten? Who is asking that? You know, and then she has right. to think. She has to think. Okay, wow, how do I feel? And then she has like the feeling, oh, this guy is like, you know, <laughs> it's a little bit deeper waters, you know, right. you can. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this is how you do it. And then um, if, you're, if you don't destroy whatever, mm -hmm. then you'll be uh, yeah, successful at the end. With her. Okay. What's your Instagram so they can follow you? It's uh, Tony Quabena, like Tony, T-O-N-Y, K-W-A-B-E-N-A. You all can also find the link for that in the description. And as you can see, this man has a lot, a lot of game. Now, here's uh, my last question too, and I'm gonna just let you explain about your business that you offer as well, because there are a lot of guys that you know want to pay to learn more. And there's probably a lot of guys on YouTube trying to figure out how to be more of a gentleman, how to talk to women. You know, so much questions that YouTube can only give you a generic response from their perspective, and it's not an actual mentor. Same thing with my business. You could get something, but then you need an actual mentor to show you what exactly to do to suit you. So, do you believe it's possible to mind fuck a girl on the first date? Yes. And you believe from that, she will be able to open to have sex with you if you ask her the right question. If you ask her on the first the date? The first or night, or but not directly say, will you fuck me? But you, you ask it and based on how you have communicated with her you know you speak based on that like uh, or do you want to come over to my place or do you want to come and get some water or do you want to see my place and you know, if you're right to uh, ask the right question and be able to fuck her after you mind fuck her so the transition it's uh, it's like a scale you know okay it's like an attraction scale she's already attracted to you from the looks maybe she she will have sex with you pretty quick but i always take my time you know take I, your time. I, I take my time, you know, okay. because I want to enjoy myself too. Oh, so yeah, I'm the one like uh, cracking jokes and having a yeah. good time, you know. That's also important for me. Okay. So um, I could also do it like faster, but how I how I always do it because I never met her, you know. Right. She doesn't know me. I'm a stranger, so I need to get the connection between us. So it's okay. Like, first, you know, we, we talk and maybe ah uh, ha ha blah. blah. Two or three minutes, mm -hmm. not shared. It's actually good conversation, right. you know. Yeah. So uh, yeah, don't get fooled by it. It's a, it's a good conversation that we have. You know? Okay. So and then I, I will ask her like um, yeah to give to give me like a kiss on the cheek and I, I want to see her reaction you know and she laughed haha and she she will do it you know I don't right. tell I don't go there and kiss her <laughs> I don't wait for the right moment to kiss her mm -hmm. I create the right moment you uh, know? I create oh. it you know you are creating it. Okay. So then, okay, she gave me a kiss on the cheek, and then I know I can go for the kiss, mm. blah, blah, blah. And then if you're kissing, you know, maybe it gets a little wider, you know, you right. start touching each Wait, other. in the restaurant or at home? Not in the restaurant. Oh. You, need, you need some, you need some privacy. Uh, yeah, privacy. Go to the beach or somewhere where mm. not, not many people are. Right. Um, yeah, that's what I would recommend. And then, uh, yeah. Then at some point you just say, okay, let's, let's go. Okay. Either she asks you where are we going, and then you say I'm home, right? And uh, or uh, yeah, she just follows you. Yeah. Simple as that. It's not magic, right? right. But you have you need experience with women, mm -hmm. how to you know understand them, the body language, blah blah blah. But I'm not there like sweating. What is this? Right. What does that mean? What is the the meaning of that? Blah blah blah. Right. I just feel it, you know. And I'm in the moment. I'm not thinking. I'm not in my head. Mm -hmm. I'm just feeling. I'm present. And this is place where she wants you to be she wants to be present you know right and, uh, yeah connect so, with you so you would say it's good not to be on your phone when you're on a date with a woman right no unless you're a business guy and you have really important things or you would I say mean, yeah sometimes
happens, you just pick up your phone. Right. You know, when she says, why you pick up your phone? You say, business. Really. Right. <laughs> and if she asks that, then she's interested. <laughs> so from this conversation, I picked up three things, right? One, you're very self-confident. Two, you don't give a fuck what the, the outcome is. Like you said, you're not attached to the outcome, which is just how everyone should be in their life on a whole with everything, to be honest. Yes. Except maybe your mother. Your dad you could be like that with, but maybe not your mother. Women are really emotional. Um, and the third thing is that you like to take your time. So would you say this is very important with women or this is a personal preference? Um, the first two things that you said. The, the last one, taking your time with women. Do you think a yeah, woman take, appreciate take, you more? Taking my time with women, somehow yes. Personal somehow preference. Yes. Because I'm, I'm making like her like wait for me. This is what I'm so actually you, doing. You're you know? the control now. Yes. And when I'm kissing her, she likes it. I'm not kissing her for 20 minutes. Just for like maybe 10 seconds. Oh, wow. Long. Okay. Um, because I, um, that's, uh, I will kiss in a different place. You know? In a like, different place. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Ladies, you heard him. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. But I enjoy it. Okay. Know, too, not too much time, but. Okay. Now, I want you to tell um, the gentleman, maybe ladies might need it as well, but I know your main, uh, your main client is really men, right? Yes. So uh, if you could tell the men a little bit about what it is you do and how they can contact you. Okay, you can contact me through Instagram. It's the easiest way you put the uh, yep. my contact down below. So um, I mainly focus on guys that have a really, really hard time with women. Not on guys that are already doing well. Like guys, maybe they never had a girlfriend, they're like um, really shy and don't know how to talk to women, how, what women are attracted to into a man. Because many guys, you know, they hear like, ah, you need confidence, but confidence comes from within, but maybe not for everyone, you know. So that's why I say, improve yourself from the looks and you will feel more confident. So, yeah, if you're interested, just uh, write me a quick message. We can talk and see if we can work together. And if not, that's also fine. Good luck with the women and stay focused also on your business. And this is what, all I can say. Awesome, bro. It was nice speaking to you as well. Nice speaking too. If you haven't already liked this channel, subscribe to this channel and comment. Make sure to do so. If you don't like the video, just give it a thumbs down. Let me know what you don't like. And uh, if you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments, but I prefer you to definitely just message them directly. I don't get any woman. Um, I'm out here, I'm single by myself. I struggle with women, that's obviously why I have bro here. So just do what I did, get his mentorship, figure out what's going on, and let's just go to the next level. See you all at the top, not because the bottom is too crowded, but because you deserve it. Let's get it.